Um, there's a couple things that we need to go over with this. Now, I want you, I want you guys to think about visualizing sometimes your angles to, for this stuff to make sense. Visualize your angles sometimes for this to make sense um, for what we're about to do. Now, if we were to graph this, we know that all the way around a circle is pi, or halfway around a circle is pi, correct? Yes, halfway around a circle is pi. All the way around the circle is 2 pi. Now, do you guys agree with me? That's the same thing as 3 pi over 3? Yeah, sure. Right? You could break that up into three sections. Then, so therefore, I could write this as 6 pi over 3. So if I go all the way around the circle, I still need not even meet my whole um, graph all the way, right? That's why, Brandon, I'd probably recommend you put that away. So if I go all the way around, that's 6 pi over 3. If I go all the way around again, that would give me to 12 pi, 12 pi over 3. That is 12 pi over 3. So that's pretty close. But they're saying an angle is 11 pi over 3. So in reality, I probably like stopped like right here, right? It's a third of a pi. It's a third of that, right? So would you guys agree? Yes. Yeah, you're wasting your time. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is I understand your point. You're converting it to degrees, which makes more sense, right? But I'm just telling you it's going to be much faster once you guys get the understanding of radians. And I know it's difficult, especially when you're talking or playing on your phone when I'm giving an instruction. But I'm telling you, the more practice you guys get with radians, you'll see that this stuff is much quicker just to deal with it. Uh, but yeah, if you thought about this in degrees, the degrees is going to be what, 720, I mean, yeah, 660. 660, right? Which is over a circle. But what I want you guys to understand is, all right, so we know that it's greater than all the way around once, right? Now, if you guys remember, so here's my initial side. And the angle, pro this is probably 11 pi over 3 right there. Because all the way around would be 12 pi over 3 again, right? Everybody agrees with that? Anybody have any questions on that? Because it's very important that you understand this. All I'm trying to tell you guys is, ladies and gentlemen, we know that there's infinite many of these angles, right, that have the same initial and terminal side. So what I can do is let's rewrite this with a smaller angle. So how could I find an angle that has the same initial and same terminal side? I could subtract or add 2 pi. Well, I wouldn't want to add 2 pi. That's just going to make a bigger angle. But if I subtract 2 pi, then that would take me to there. Right? Agreed? So let's see what this one comes in. So if I have sine of 11 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3, which is 2 pi, that gives me sine of 5 pi over 3, right? So we can say theta is 5 pi over 3. Think about this in terms of reference angles. If this is 5 pi over 3, and we know all the way around is 6 pi over 3, what does this little reference angle have to be? Pi over, pi over 3. Do you guys agree with me? This has to be pi over 3. Because, all, because from here to here is 5 pi over 3. So 5 pi over 3 plus pi over 3 would give you 6 pi over 3. Does anybody follow me, not follow me? Uh, all I did, when you have angles that are greater than all the way around a circle, not all the problems in 25 through 30, 35, or whatever, are all the way you know, greater than 360 or greater than 2 pi. When you have angles that are greater than 360 or greater than 2 pi, subtract to find a coterminal angle that's between 0 and 2 pi, or 0 and 360. Okay? Once you know what the angle is between 0 and 360 or between 0 and 2 pi, then use the reference angle to find an angle that you can work with. Because if theta, sorry, theta is 5 pi over 3, that means theta prime is pi over 3. Now, what's so important about theta prime being pi over 3 is that now I should know, or at least I have a quick reference without using a calculator, that pi over 3 is equivalent to 60 degrees. 
again, so all the way around the circle is 2 pi, which is the same thing as 6 pi over 3. Agreed? When I subtracted 2 pi from my original angle, I got 5 pi over 3. So all the way around here for this angle is 5 pi over 3. So the reference angle in red has to be pi over 3. So therefore, I could say sine of 5 pi over 3 is equivalent to sine of pi over 3. Well, again, thinking of this, we still haven't really discussed pi over 3 yet. We're going to learn that today. So I would convert that to 60 degrees. Do we know how to find the sine of an angle in 60 degrees? Yeah. Well, we should, because that was on our focus lesson. 30, 60, 90. Right? So that's going to be your um, short leg double square root of 3. So the sine of 60 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Now I see a lot of very, very puzzled faces. 